Hi, dear friends. Once again, this is Empowerment Talks, and my name is Comfort Convo. Thank you guys for always tuning in. And today is one of those special days you can tell for yourself. There are blessings in the house today, and you just want to stay tuned. She is a life coach. I don't want to say much because she can say it best. Listen, guys, subscribe, share, and stay tuned as I introduce to you known else but our own beautiful soul, Aloha Corinne. Welcome to Empowerment Talks. Thank you. Thank you, Comfort. Sister, beautiful soul you are, you know. Thank you for inviting me and having me here. Oh, let me let me just close the telegram button because if not, it's going to be always disturbing. I know there's a Technical lot of cool things. <laughs> things. Things keep popping up, right? Popping up. So let yeah. me exactly. So yeah. things keep things keep popping up. That's in life too. They keep popping up. And then you have always the choice. What that's that's why we're here though. <laughs> that's why we're here. You have the choice of, of, of focusing what is popping up or focusing something else, you know? So you you go, I, I have made the experience that I, I go with my inner truth. All but right, all right. We all have right. always these challenges. You are getting me up. already fired up, but then I'm <laughs> give the microphone back to me, please. It's fine. Oh, yes. yes, certainly. You know, you have made a, a beautiful introduction so yes. let me know if you want to me to introduce myself. Yes, yeah, sure. It's just a pleasure having you. It's a big blessing. So we would like you to tell us about yourself. Yes, I will. You know, my name is Corinne Isabel Mikes, and I live at the moment in Switzerland. And um, I was born in Switzerland, but after two years, we moved out of Switzerland to Germany, to Berlin. And there I went, um, well, I followed a bit later to school and then we moved again after five years to the canary islands to las palmas de gran canaria that was my time which um, shaped me too you know <laughs> this time where life shapes you quite um nicely right. and um and as my parents, they were, you know, my, my mom, she's original from Ghana. I have my African roots there. She was born in Kumasi. This is in Ashanti region. And my grandmother, she had a farm in Togo. So, um, and, and from my father's side, we have our roots in Hungary. So I feel myself very mixed. Um, I have my gypsy roots from Hungary, let's say, you know, the colorful and whatever. Yeah, yeah. I feel very rooted and very, very dear close to my African ancestors. Oh, yeah. Very close. That's, that's very, close very close. And, um, and, and I remember when my grandmother, she was um, in, in Africa and I used to visit her because when I was flying, I'll tell you later, as a flight attendant, I had the chance to go to, 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 to Ghana and visit my family there. Oh, and I have a huge family. You know how it works with, in Africa, you know, you have a huge family. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, of course. <laughs> For us, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. And, right. you know, whenever I was in the, in, in the airplane, the guests there, they told me, hey, are you one of us? You know, I say, how did you know? Wait, the way you move, the way you treat us, you know, because you wouldn't know. stay, you know, yeah. you wouldn't stay, but they knew. And, you know, and they knew, they knew with my mom, it's, it's more visible. And my, my, my grandmother, of course, yeah. but yeah. Um, I'm very proud of, of, of my, my um, roots and my ancestors, uh, they brought me here where I am, you know, they walked away before me. Right. Okay, right. so this is Gran Canaria, this is Las Palmas, the Gran Canaria, this is the Canary Islands, where my grandmother, she came to visit us and live with us five years. That's right. why I, I was talking to her in, in English, to my mom in French, because she's French speaking, yeah. to my father in German, in the street and at school Spanish. So we were very multilingual. I have a little sister. She's one and a half years 
uh, younger than I and uh, elder brother, he's one and a half years older than I. Mm -hmm. And um, wow. and so when we were all together and talking, you know, it's just like Esperanto, you know, because we were mixing all languages. But right. um, that made me myself um, like expand uh, a lot of aspects because when you talk different languages and you get in touch with the different cultures right and, you know and and, and travel uh yeah. it, it expands so much within you and you remember so many many magical things I which know. are connecting everybody so uh, there in spain i was about 10 years with my parents with my family and about 1980s there was a huge crisis i don't know if you remember my father was at that time working on an offshore on a, on a platform a petrol platform you know and mm -hmm. it was a lot of Ni in nigeria and the states everywhere mm -hmm. and um, at that time there was this crisis and they decided after a year to go back to switzerland wow. and i just had graduated at that time and uh, with 18 years young and i had to go with them back to switzerland but it was so difficult to me after the canary islands the, well you know maybe it's similar to uk i don't know it's very strict you know everything is very regulated and switzerland is so um, nicely organized <laughs> yeah. yeah the weather you know and everything so um and the the, the, the human being there but after three months i I was in the universities and my, especially my father wanted me to study in Switzerland. And I was just like, oh, not my world. It's not, I have to go back to the Canaries. Hello. I have to go back to the Canaries. But my parents, they were not, not at all agreeing. And I was always being a rebel. Oh, I know. <laughs> always, you know, a rebel at school. I remember one teacher when he was just talking about african there were racists in in in, in school and oh, i was my rebel and i was fighting and just no. like a you know, grand <laughs> fan of martin luther king of course you know and then um you know how, how it works and and uh, this was always a challenge to me i was always i had this sensation i was a light barrier you know yeah i can, I can. you know you know just fighting for, for for humanity for for equality for the right. balance you oh. know okay keep that in mind because this is uh, what is going on no sure <laughs> that you have said just a lot and i'm just like wow you know because there are times things happen at times i want to imagine what who is she what she doing what you know you have told already a lot and i'm just about to call you that you are kind of on passive uh, personified because you have traveled like all over the place you are a blend of africa and europe you are a polyglot you speak all of those languages and then the connections and all those and that's what on passive is all about but let's begin from the beginning. There, there's some French kind of thing in my country. They say, commençons par le commencement. So behind you are three words, love, yes. blessing, peace. What's that for? Exactly, love, blessing, and peace. Love is always the answer. Um, I have always followed my heart, wherever it brings me, wherever it leads me, in all countries, even when I was living and operating in Beijing in China, I, I used to learn Mandarin because I, if not, I couldn't, I couldn't operate there. And but there, that's the only at that time confront at that time. And listen carefully now, it, it has changed. But at that time, I was not able to open up people's heart for love that time in Beijing. In Taiwan, it was different. In Hong Kong, it was different. In Shanghai, different. Mm -hmm. But in Beijing at that time. And that uh, frustrated me a kind of. And I started mm, doing some Tai Chi and Qigong and dancing all the time, six hours dancing. That's mine. You know, we African, we dance oh, uh, all the time, you know. <laughs> so we have to move and, and, and to dance. Yeah. And that was a blessing to me um, because I started to shake up and shake out all my frustrations because I couldn't get in touch 
with the heart of the local people the, from, from, from Beijing that time. And I was then connecting with um, so-called expatriates, you know, with the Cuban, the Latin American, yeah. whoever there. Okay, so it's always about making peace with yourself, myself, my experience, and peace in between of all, because, you know, these days, you know all what is all about there is um fights about dogma fights about having uh, the power mostly because of the money and greed and so on if everybody would listen authentically that's my opinion and my perception in their hearts and drop off their bad experiences from the past and stay in the now, everybody wants peace. I yeah, think, sure. You know, sure. and everybody uh, can recall their own inner wisdom and truth, which to me is love. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, all said that these are various experiences in different countries. In Italy, I used to live in Italy too. I, 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 I learned Italian, of course. Mm -hmm. And, um, there always, you know, wherever I was in businesses or with persons, human beings, I was so grateful. I'm so grateful when the heart energy flows. Mm -hmm. The heart energy um, <laughs> is to me the language. Okay, when I was a little small, I always said in Spanish, um, el amor vence siempre. That means love is always winning. Okay, this was my first approach and I was painting spirals and vortex and with hearts, love is always winning. And um, um, many, many, many people, they loved me because I was so bright child, you know, no, <laughs> even, even they wanted to have me, you know, I had a few ugly experiences as child and as, as, as mates and as woman, uh, which at the end, with reconciliation um, of myself within and with those um, involved, I felt again my inner peace, okay? And I made peace with all. And um, okay, here we are again. It's all about getting the inner equilibrium, I would say, you know? And, yeah. Um, yeah. I know that it has been just like my free will in talk with the highest source of love or with God, you know, to experience these things here on, 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 on this incarnation. I know that, right. you know, why? Because I can out of this experience and having had this reconciliation made it through my own experience, not through studies or schooling i am able and so willing to assist and support other human being into their self-empowerment and here we are with you you with your topic always you know this is our empowerment right. which is to me a huge a huge topic and a wish and a vocation and it's all about our passive too but let, let me tell you something which could probably interest you to i'm my hobbies is of course dancing and painting making some paintings and messages writing and singing i was singing in the gospel choir during seven years and there during the gospel you know well i had my all my african ancestors in behind and when we were when we were singing mamali and these african songs well and, and moving you know this is in switzerland and yeah. the people they are more conservative but i was there all in my in my whole embodiment of a gospel singer <laughs> and this was very very um, disruptive too you know right. and, and, and 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 um working uh, and transforming the um all the challenges from the african history you know yeah. through the singing you know this is a power of singing 
to, to, to Lord and, and praising Jesus and, and, and you know, all the love and, and, and singing about the story. This was a very, very, very big experience, which gave me a lot of uh, wisdom back and rememberings, you know, and yeah. I, I, bro I broke the ice. I'm the rebel, being the rebel. Right. I'm a, I feel like they say I'm a pioneer, you know, yeah. I, I overlook things as a big picture. I have made uh, some schooling with awareness and, you know, and uh, psychology, holistic things. But if you look at my homepage, you won't see any label. Right. I don't label myself because the experiences are the ones which makes us um, exactly. grow, you know. So, right. uh, yeah. I have the feeling that all my stories and all my experiences mm -hmm. have brought me to oh. operating on passive. Exactly. You know? You yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Just just like like uh, Greg Ashman, he says that the, the last destination, you know, it's yeah. just like brought me, okay, I know that I'm on the right place. And when I was brought to on passive mm -hmm. to a friend, oh, I, I don't want to, maybe you want to. to yeah, sure. On. Yeah, I, I really just want to connect because. Please connect, you, connect. You know, <laughs> what, what's getting you, <laughs> you have had a few ugly experiences and you walk your way out and you are glowing, you know, if you don't say you have ever gone through any terrible experience, no one can tell because the look on your face is not what you would have experienced. You know, the absence of peace, racism, absence of love and all those, they boil down to corruption, right? Either corrupt minds, corrupt systems and so on. So can you relate in any way to Mr. Ash's uh, 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 saying that on passive is the correction to corruption? Of course, of course. You know, on passive to me, is more than correction to corruption. On passive, first of all, to me, it's a business, an enterprise, which has a soul, okay? To me, to me. I perceive it just like a soul and has a heart, a beating heart. And it has this big vision and mission to equalize, to equalize everything, also the corruption. And I tell you, comfort, I embody the loving spirit of, of on passive, you know that, and, and alo oha means sharing the loving spirit of on, of on passive, alo, sharing, and ha is the holy breath of love, and oh, you know, oh is the com, it's everything, is on passive. Right. So, yes, corruption, you said something, the corruption, different systems, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And um, I haven't been online. I'm not an online marketer. I'm an offline holistic coach, so to say. Mm -hmm. um, but I have experienced a lot of corruption in human relations, okay? Very worthful experiences. Mm -hmm. So, um, and um, out of that certain point, I was so disillusioned that I didn't want to be anymore here, mm -hmm. okay? So um, at a certain point, I had a near-death experience. <laughs> and I was a mom at that point. My son was three years old. I have a son, he's now 18. His name oh. is Ricardo. Oh. And I have, a, I have a daughter, but she passed away when I was, uh, I, I, I was pregnant. Her name is Nubia. Yeah. Bless you. Uh, yes, it's, it's, she's beautiful. She's always waving. Okay. <laughs> and um, this near-death experience, you know, comfort and everybody who listens, why are these three words and why I'm here and I'm passive? This near-death experience um, reminded me, well, made me connect with the highest source of love, how I call it, mm -hmm. the presence. I was there and this presence you name it, it's God, Allah, Krishna, however, to me, it's the highest source of love, the highest divine source of love. Mm -hmm. And um, I was reminded to go back into my body <laughs> right. and 
to follow my path out of being not anymore having to protect myself right but to say yes to life on a different way you know because i i am at a certain point i thought oh i'm here dancing singing smiling at everybody and they they, 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 they apparently they want to eat me you know i was in different uh, situations abuses and so on right. and um, ugly stuff would ash say yes and as he has passed ugly stuff too as everybody in their own experience mm -hmm. and um, this has been after um, these experiences a, a blessing to me because uh, after this near-death experience confer mm -hmm. I don't talk about love I'm I experienced it and it's oh. not love between of persons human being it's the love it's love it's blessing and it's peace. It's right. all together, which I experienced and I said yes to it and I mm -hmm. embodied it. And that, that is my vocation right. to um, remind everybody mm -hmm. that this is possible and this is within all of us, you know, yeah. to mm -hmm. be this bright shining being we are all and to reconciliate with everything what doesn't serve us anymore and mm -hmm. to empower everybody and this is unpassive yeah. that's yes. you know and passive empowers this is the yeah. implication and unpassive the field itself makes a transformation process for everybody everybody who steps in they are transforming themselves even our genuine e. ash mufara he yeah. has to being through a transformation process. Everybody does. <laughs> Me too, you know, I'm learning about all these, um, right. these are wonderful um, portfolios and so on, and the connectedness. And I'm here. Yes, correction to corruption is something which is taking natural and it's normal to me. It's a balancing, you know, I'm not fighting anymore, but I'm, I, I say yes. Right. And it's just like a self-regulation mm -hmm. of itself, of, of the love regulate itself, you know, self divine self-regulation. Do you wow. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure, it's sure. just because yeah. if you if we let go the control and to, to have to do something, we mm -hmm. say, okay, we are I am in service. I am in service. Mm -hmm. I'm, an, I'm an instrument. Yeah. And I'm let me lead, inspire, inspire and lead through my way wherever it goes and i'm not afraid of traveling or because this is normal you know this is normal to me so right, sure sure and i right. know comfort this is my inner wisdom i know this is my inner truth that mm -hmm. this is possible and i see it already i perceive it already you know yeah. Yeah, so just so this is a blessing. This is all blessed, you know, my favorite portfolio. Anyways, right. what else? What else? Tell me, <laughs> because well, I, could, I could go on, you know, I could go on. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you are such a blessing, right? Because there, there are times people just need to share like this because people are taking in a lot and they are just like, why is my case different? But then if they can watch you glow and smile, given that you have gone through a lot, that is too, it's really elevating, you know, so I'm um, like you are saying, letting go. I am born again, child of God. And I am used to the expression, let go and let go, right? So it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good way to start. However, you know, this is an empowerment platform. And I, this platform is inspired by Unpassive because it's the greatest empowerment instrument I've ever seen in my life, right? Exactly. Right now, what I know about um, life coaching is that people specialize in something. For you to be a holistic life coach sounds to me like a handful because when you say holistic, I think about all you do actually take care of everything. That is massive. You must have influenced a lot of lives. So what type of people do you talk to the most? Age okay. so the, yeah. what kind of people do you talk to? And yeah. how, how, what, where is your satisfaction? What, yeah. 
Well, my satisfaction, <laughs> my, my satisfaction is to see and to observe, to walk side by side with human beings and remind them that they are who they are, you know? Okay, so this is individual one-to-one. -one. Then I do um, groups, I assist groups with retreats and um, so-called I assist just birthing process I'm just like a midwife but not the physical birthing but it's a birthing process within and until the um, process of dying process I'm, a, I'm, I, I'm sometimes in the role of being a midwife of the dying process the transformation which is a lot of light um you know in the hospitals kind of, the, kind, is, of kind of spiritual to detoxification is that what but it has always it's always a detoxification always everything is a detoxification if we allow it but yeah. it's holistic means that i operate with a lot of different senses at the same time okay uh, for my awareness and right. always connected to the divine source of love mm -hmm. which i have experienced by myself and right. it supports me all the time as you say you know um and um let go and let god you oh, know yeah, right. let love uh, operate and it is no script i'm I, I wouldn't say i'm a life coach i don't know i'm somebody who does tailor-made holistic coaching it's just like on passive it's right. all tailor-made it's done for right. you i'm there and i don't know yet what you need now right it's i'm i i am i'm ready to do it for you whatever you need to remember that you are great that you are shining light, that you are the power itself, just like on passive. Right. You know, we want to empower the human being, uplift them to remember that they can do it. They have to remember that to be authentic and believe in themselves. And on passive is just an assistance, you know, the, the, your wonderful tools to right. show, to use them, to utilize to make the change but the change we have to be ourselves right. yeah this is this is the as gandhi said you know if you want to change the world you have to be the change yourself mm -hmm. and um there i see this connection with this consciousness which i already the consciousness on passive has a consciousness right i know right <laughs> <laughs> the hard co coherence, you know. This I is told you, I told you from the beginning that you are on passive personified, and you can see you are just it's just walking in line. So carry on. Exactly, exactly. You know, when I came in to passive, I just had one sentence of a friend. Do you want to be part of a futuristic company? I didn't want I didn't know what it was. I didn't know. Right. I don't need to know. I don't know anything, comfort, but I felt. I felt my heart jumping in and say, that's your place. Right. Yeah? And I jumped in without knowing anything. And, and when I was in, then I sensed the morphogenetic field, so-called the energetic field. Mm -hmm. And I felt so blessed because to encounter um, a company with a heart beating, you know, there are not so many. I've, I've worked as an entrepreneur and mm -hmm. as a corporate, as you know, in different, in sales, in import, export, in whatever I have done, name it, I've done it. And um, occasionally, well, yes, many times I've, I've followed my heart and there was this heart business, but whenever the heart is not anymore pulsing, mm -hmm. anything else, I'm somewhere else. So in non-passive, the heart is pulsing constantly. Right. This golden heart of Ash Mufara, our German CEO, of course, and many, many founders which are reflecting and embodying the mission itself. You know, we are so powerful now. We are on passive. We yeah. are love. We are blessing. We are peacemakers. We right. are caretakers. We are the ones who are going to and are already blessing others and, and, and doing whatever our best version of ourselves 
to do everybody with their own skills, you know, in projects and whatever, whatever there's so much to do. So um, in on passive, you find everything. You find the connectedness, you know, all my travels, everything, all the old languages, mm -hmm. and the, the one language is the one is the hard language. You know that that's always my answer. You know, that's right. the hard language. One heart we are. It doesn't right. depend where you are, where you come from. This is at the last. This is one heart. And again, my experience out of this right. um, near death experience. I'm not talking out of, of, of anything studied, but of, of my own experience. And I represent here the remembrance that love is always present. Right. And answer, you know, and benevolent wow. and equalizing. And, 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 and if on passive is love, so we are aligned. Of course, I, I perceive that we are aligned with, 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 you know, and you know, many say, um, as is God sent, yes. Right. Surely, you know, yes. This is luxury to me, right? Because I'm just I'm receiving therapy for free. So that's what is happening. Because you talk and I just smile. It feels really good listening to you, right? So you are such a blessing. So uh, there's one thing. Many people have passed through this platform from various uh, occupational or uh, professional backgrounds. And they all say on passive is going to take their profession to some level, right? How far? Or how far that, because you've gone already far enough, how far that do you take on passing would take your profession and all you are doing to what level? Well, wow. um, I tell you, I don't know how far, but I'm sure that I let myself surprise. I'm opening for, for more, always for more, always creating, optimizing, growing more just like on passive you know everything you know so there is no limit <laughs> just, there's no limit so i don't know i don't know but i know there's no limit so i'm ready for whatever comes you right. know and um i i had at the beginning it, it's very funny because at the beginning i i talked to to ash if, a long time ago and said well i have an idea i'd like to at that time we didn't make any interview comfort right. i said well I'd, I'd like to make interviews talk talk they, oh, oh talk i said what do you what do you mean corinne do you want to make a um, portfolio no no but talk to me talk to us talk to you that was <laughs> my topic and right. this was something a concept a project i had in mind and then it popped out it popped out Right. You know, Dr. Bill, with the, um, with the, with the, um, with the interviews with uh, our Ash Mufara right. and, and interviews are everywhere. And I said, OK, um, sometimes, many times I throw the information into the field. And then it, it, it's, it's there, the signature. Yeah. And it doesn't matter who does it. But it's exactly. done, you know, it's done. It's done. And, yeah. and that's what happens with Unpassive too, you know, there's so many informations and we have so many impulses and right. it's doing by itself, you know, and it's doing fast and, you know, and the overview, well, more or less is that more or less answering I could talk and talk, you know, because I have this, this, <laughs> you, you know, you know what I think? You want you from from your own perspective. You think that you did not achieve the, the maybe the, the wish of doing the interview, but I think that you do it because it's actually a team. Exactly. If, if you don't come to sit here and talk, then I can't interview myself, right? Because I have spoken to so many people, and they're like, "Okay, this thing she is saying makes a lot of sense. We want to know more." I can't say it all by myself. You need to come and sit here and do it. So you are still part of it because it takes a team, doesn't it? Absolutely. And we are always mirroring ourselves. Right. Exactly. And I'm passing, you know, remember um, our Jean and Ash Mufara says we attract who we are. So there are 800,000 and more founders yeah. in the boat, in the light boat. <laughs> right. So um, we are all aspects of him too, you know? Oh, sure. So, uh, this is um, uh, a Mayan saying says in Lakesh, which means I'm the other you. Mm -hmm. I'm the oh. other part of you. And um, right. 
this is uh, something which I experience all the time. You know, we are all mirroring right. us right. and learning or remembering from each other. And mm -hmm. it's so powerful to do it in unity. That's the only way to gaze. Exactly. That's the only way. In unity, we win all, you know. I mm -hmm. was at the beginning mm -hmm. with this slogan, in it to win it, in it to win it. Right. Uh, I guess, okay. But I, I, I was, this is my, my experience, in it to win it. And I thought, well, the love wins always. And if, when I was small, I said, love is always winning. And then I changed. Love is. Because if I win, there must be somebody who is losing, you know. Right. Right. <laughs> That's my approach. So I said, yeah. In unity, we win all. They're, exactly. they're, they're, nobody's going to lose. Right. Everybody wins in it all. Win win, of course. In it win it means the same, you know. But I'm, I'm very sensitive with the wording. I feel every frequency. I feel the frequency and the energy of uh, not only human being, uh, but also the wordings. And uh, this is um, very important to me to uh to to to, to light put the light on the light <laughs> to right. focus on the light well wordings you know right right yeah it's it's so um so sweet how it happens because everybody who comes here they speak the same language maybe just using other other words right and how much we, you know, it's, we go back to the unity, we go back to team, because what is Ash's dream? To make millions of Mother Teresa's. Why does he want them? Because he wants to reach out to every uh, miserable face around the world, right? It takes that connection from you to me, to the other person, and to the person, right? But, uh, you know, and people confess that when they come here, everybody says, this is what I'm going to do. These are ideas of what people should do, right? So I always like, I think that as we have put our faces in front here, we want, it's our duty to keep like jogging of, of people's minds, not to forget that we are here because of the people who cannot make it to this platform. We cannot forget them. So what are some ideas of helping, like giving back to your society or to your community as so just as to fulfill the dream, the vision? Okay, you know, um, my favorite, is all blessed. Okay, so that's that's the door to operate. What um, maybe I've been doing in a different way, small, you know, but in, 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 in far in bigger, in bigger, bigger, bigger nature and um, I think this is all about our bless. And of course, all the tools are, are helping with it. And uh, like Academy and so on. I have, I'm, I'm, I, I, I know that I'm supporting everywhere where it's needed. Mm -hmm. And I'm letting me led through the divine source. Okay. Um, I know to me, it's important to get the nature of the whole planet earth in balance there's so many components which makes this disbalance and um it's always the answer is always love the answer is oh are you here i can't see yes. anyone yes i am yes. okay i don't know why this is happening sorry yeah you know um Women, children, elder people, yeah. balancing, life. yes, and balancing even also the, 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 the green planet, which is, you know, the, the seas, uh, the, the ocean, the oceans, you know, um, the, the breath, the, everything is connected. Everything is connected. Just as on Passive has this beautiful soil because of us founders, we are all connected and deep rooted. That's why I'm, I'm always asked, are you ready to get deeper with your roots and share your potential with the soil we are all connected all connected and 
far beyond of a passive, we are connected. So it's going to be a ripple effect and it's going to be natural. It's going to be total natural. And it's time now, you know, since 2012, with this big change of the paradigm which is going on and now we are in the lion's gates so well this august is is a lot of things going on and every day every day we decide to do the best and whatever we do mm -hmm. it's it reaches everywhere every smile we smile reaches everywhere just like a ripple effect like the butterflies you know exactly. so sometimes it just needs um uh, one more butterfly to, to 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 get out of the cocoon you know and and, and be free yes and then that's done we uh, never know so we i i know that i i'm going to let me lead you know what i mean I'm, I'm i'm i don't have a script but i know it's good it has to do with women it has to do with children it yeah. has to do with nature it has to do with elder people too right the elder you know i i know that because we are yes. all and interconnected and we are all merging together they're all the generations you know smiling at us not se no separations right. everybody's trying to split us mm -hmm. out right there so here we have this unity and right. that's all about to unite everybody and then of course um as soon as we embrace our own potential out of our inner source without being always under pressure from systems and so on you know you know yeah. passive is the game changer exactly it is the game is the oh, real yeah. paradigm shift in all senses not only you know with the technology and internet it has this ripple effect that's why it's a real blessing to me and it's bigger than we ever can think just like saying to you again and reminding to everybody mm -hmm. out of the overviewing point and out thinking out of the box as Ash always does. He's always anticipating and, and further there, but he's taking the future into the now, you know? Right. <laughs> That's why the, the, the timeline doesn't exist to me. Yeah. So yes, possible, everything. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. And I see it already. Of course, right. it's maybe in some places it's going to be time for time because it depends how much we self allow ourselves to be free okay right. and maybe we, if, if we don't have any more this uh, pressure of of having to struggle for living then we are allowing ourselves to remember our own potential and what could it ever be right. wonderful wonderful right Great everybody show. has yeah. has its puzzle and is a very 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 important part of the right. whole and together we are we are all the, the whole puzzle of love blessing and peace and here you see this beautiful butterfly you know which is on passive <laughs> the globe but it's a butterfly it's a transformation process right transformation process and all the angelic and angelic realms of course divine you know however you want to call it it's always there present it's always present I think I like the analogy of the butterfly, right? When when I when I was back home, uh, like in a Baptist church, you know, back home we we'll sing and dance. There's this song. I just just I'm not the best to in singing, but I really want to sing it because you each time you talk about the transformation of the butterfly, I just see that. So we used to sing like, I want to be a butterfly. I don't want to be a caterpillar. Give me a new life. I need a change. Is that is that not passive? Wonderful. That's a passive. And you know, the butterfly when it's in the caterpillar, this right. is called a imago process. Yeah. I don't know if you know that. The, yeah, the, the caterpillar doesn't know what is going to happen, right? Yeah. But in the let's call in the in the in the DNA or in the in the root information, this imago process takes place in the subconscious. Right. It's everything is already there. The information, the wisdom, 
And when it goes out of the caterpillar, it knows how to fly. Yeah. Is that the miracle? So that's the process of every human being who is caught in a kind of cocoon, maybe trying to be in a safety place or whatever, or try or, or being in a reality where he's caught and doesn't want to have the change or whatever. But yeah. we, are, we are all going to uplift everybody to right. be courageous to drop the cocoon exactly to remember the imago process and to be a butterfly you know and butterflies they, they it makes smile the whole world so it's freedom love blessing and peace again right yes this is so sweet thank you corinne <laughs> You're just kidding me. I don't know how much I would pay for this, right? This is one thing. I bring people here because I want them to talk to the people that I have got them to know about on Basu, but I benefit the most. That is the truth about it. Thank you. Yes. So, yes, you know, many people have reached that cocoon where it's ready to break, but they're holding it tight because it's a comfort zone. They think they don't know that being able to apply is more freedom, right? What last word of advice maybe you have for those just sitting on the fence when the, uh, the opportunity is still here about all passing? But yeah, the words will be one important is surrender. Amen. Wow. Surrender. Just surrender and feel that you are loved. Okay. Surrender in the whole, surrender in the divine, surrender in God's arms, or however you want to call it. You are safe. So um, you can't, you can only win, you know, feel like a butterfly, like, like this caterpillar. And when it breaks, you can only move forwards. So just like the children, you know, every mom has given, not every mom, but, but the moms has given birth, natural birth. It doesn't go um, backwards. The birth goes forward. And it's it, and sometimes, you know, it has, it's pain, but it's a sweet pain because afterwards you forget about everything. Right. You know? but, and, and the blue, so, no. so it's just getting forward. You, 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 you have to move forward. This is the right. human nature. And this is my, my encouragement and remembrance. Move forward and feel that you are moving with all of us side by side, sister and yeah. brothers. You're not <laughs> alone. We are all together in this. We win this together. And I'm not talking only on the passive family. I'm talking about the whole, yes, the whole, the whole movement. This is huge if, if we only think about our caterpillar our breakdown our breakout this is nothing <laughs> this is just a symbolic but of course we have to start with us yeah right right of course and if we break our caterpillar and do the move there is something else yes smiling at us smiling at us and the fragrance of life is yeah. there for everybody you know i've been in the in the webinar last uh, twice already in the mm -hmm. webinar with our bangladesh sisters and brothers mm -hmm. and um you know they are so-called poor countries i don't see poor countries oh, yeah. i right. see only rich countries why rich rich in heart rich in the potential but mm -hmm. they have uh, some um, and, and i have experienced that uh, you know we are just caught with our programs with our system and so on so we are caught so mm -hmm. again believe and trust in your wisdom within in the imago process like the caterpillar of this beautiful butterfly and spread your wings try it try it now i know spread your wings spread oh, yeah. your wings. <laughs> You know, and share the love. Yeah. Share the love. And this is the highest frequency in the universe. Right. We have a lot, lot, lot of support everywhere. And this is meant to be it's divinely orchestrated. I know that. It is right. in a knowing. <laughs> it's divinely orchestrated. And of course, you know, everybody is, is, is a beacon of hope. But more than that, right. what happens after being a beacon of hope, after we are a beacon of belief, of power, right. of empowerment, of light, of, 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 of sharing and, and, 
hand, you know, uh, giving the hands yeah, to each other, you know, yeah. and walking side by side. Exactly. And we are all together in this, all together, all together, all together. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, what yeah. are you saying? What are my 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 last words? Shine bright. It's time to for you to break your own caterpillar. And as soon as you have done this beautiful experience, you can um, motivate others to do so too, right? Exactly. You know, because we, we can't do that for the others. I, I believe that, you know? Right. Yeah, cool. You know, but we are there in with our being and just reminding is just like a candle of light, you know? There's mm -hmm. one light in a dark space. There's light everywhere. Right. And the light doesn't throw any shadow. So shine the light and drop all the negativity. Your natural high frequency is a natural state. You know, this, and we are eternal divine beings and um, we are supported, we are loved in this wonderful field of Unpassive where everything is given and supporting us to grow, to uplift and to change for good, for the whole, for the best and highest good of the whole. What a better place to be. It's, it's, we are exactly at the same, at the, at the right timing now too, at the right timing, also, always on track, always on the right timing and always on so-called on service, um, on service, being led and aligned, uh, comfort. Does it make sense? Uh, can you get the message what I want to transport with love, blessing, and peace? Yeah. <laughs> this butterfly. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Corinne. It has been such a wonderful blessing. Guys, whoever is watching this, you just want to thank God and say, I am blessed. And this is not an opportunity to miss, like you have heard our sister say. Like you have heard many others say, share it with your loved ones, invite friends, let them just watch. And if you have any question, you need any help, always drop on the public section. If I don't see it, I can assure you, Corinne Isabel will see your comment. And if it's a question, if it's a concern, she's definitely going to address it. So don't keep any question unanswered. Do not keep any doubt unverified because we are a team and we are there for each other. So thank you for watching, and Corinne, thank you so much for your time today. God bless you. I, I thank you, Comfort, and I thank all of you listening, because it's about you, about us, about everybody. Thank you, because you are the change. You are the ones who is going to make it possible. We are already changing and uplifting. You know, you are the ones. And I thank you all. I thank you all from deep of my heart, and from embodying this loving spirit of Unpassive, I thank you on behalf of this spirit of Unpassive and on behalf of our genuine CEO Ash Mufra, who I feel deeply connected with this in Lakesh, you know. So thank you, Comfort, for your presence and your empowerment talks, which are really empowerment talks, you know, and, and, and so much value for the whole. And remember every word, every impulse, everything we do, we think it's a signature in the whole field. Right. You know? exactly. It is, there is it is an impact because everything is connected in the quantum field. It is right. just like it is. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Blessing upon yeah. blessing to all of you. Right. And yes. here we are. Oh, all together experiencing this great movement. movement yes this right. it's just greatness to greatness to 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 expect exactly as we know thank, thank, you. You. thank you all right bye, bye.